Huge success in Sydney. Mary Poppins is finally heading to Melbourne. The production's new season and cast members were announced this morning with our favourite soprano, Marina Pride, joining the show. And we are thrilled to say Marina joins us now from Melbourne. Good morning to you, Marina. How are you? Good morning. I'm great, thank you. We love this because you were in the original Aussie production of Mary Poppins back in 2010. Yeah. How excited are you to be returning to the stage oh. with this show? I am absolutely thrilled. Look, you know, people throw around the word iconic, but this really, I mean, you know, too, too much, I guess, but this really is an iconic production. And I was lucky enough to play Mrs. Banks, the children's mother, um, when it was out here originally in 2011. And now I'm coming back in two roles as the bird lady, uh, the homeless lady who sings Feed the Birds, who's like an angel, mm. and the evil, wicked, witchy nanny, um, Miss Andrew, so I can't wait. Oh my God. I mean, look, I cannot wait to hear you sing again because you, you, people can still hear you sing now. You just did a show last night. You're doing nine yep. to five in Melbourne. Yeah. Is that going to be sad to leave the office for Cherry Tree Lane? Look, um, I am having the best time in nine to five. It's such a dynamic, uplifting, happy 80s show. Um, I'm absolutely adoring it. But I'm never, I'm always grateful to move on to something else, you know, and I'm really, really honoured to be part of this cast of Mary Poppins because um, it's just, it's phenomenal. They've just got such wonderful people in it. And um, mm. I'm really, yeah, I, I can't wait. I just can't wait. Tell us about the challenge for you in taking mm. on two roles in one wow. show. Is it difficult yeah. for you? Because I imagine you sort of really immerse yourself in a particular character when you're doing a show like this. You have to yeah. immerse yourself twice over. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look, I love that. I love a challenge in terms of acting. And I think that's what's going to be marvellous because they are the antithesis of each other. One is like a a bag lady who is actually an angel, I think, and uh, who sings Feed the Birds, and she's sweet and angelic. And then there is the nasty, nasty, uh, evil nanny, Miss Andrew, who's just awful. She's a bit like the witch in Wizard of Oz, I think. Mm. So um, I'm going to love that. I'm going to love the challenge of I'm hoping people won't realise it's the same person, although I've told them now, haven't I? <laughs> no, you haven't. Also, I don't, think anyone thinks, I don't think anyone thinks you're a bag lady or nasty. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, so I think you really are playing against time. Yeah. yeah, I love, you know what, though, as an, as an actor and one who's been around, gosh, it's 40 years next year that I've been um, in theatre. Oh, and I'm really happy to evolve into, I love being able to still be here and play really challenging comedic mm. roles, character roles. I love that. I, I find that one of my greatest um, greatest gifts and, and challenges that I have as an actor is to play against type, as they say. So I just love it. Just to clarify, so you've got 9 to 5, which is in Melbourne too. You're going to do Mary Poppins in Melbourne. So that means you will be in Melbourne for carols. We don't have to do any I magic will, to get you to I carols. will definitely be in Melbourne for carols. Good, because otherwise, yeah. you know, we'll just have to cancel. <laughs> just cancel yeah. Christmas altogether. We'll just, just cancel yeah. it. I can delay it a few more out. days if you need to. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, just on Mary Poppins too, yeah. and, you know, it's come back to the stage again. Um, there is such an enduring love for this story. What mm. is it that draws audiences in time and time again, do you think? You know what? I think, look, it's, as you can see from the footage, it's spectacular and no, magical and, you know, it, it, it captures both children and adults but I think the thing is at the heart of the story it's about a fractured family and it's about this magical nanny who comes in and actually puts the family back together again and it's the heart of it I think that almost ambushes audiences I think they're expecting it to be lavish and you know hilarious and amazing but I don't think they're quite ready for the emotional heart of the show and I think that's what really captures people this will be your second Mary now. Uh, yeah. you know, uh, how do you feel about Steph? She's quite a talent, and, oh. and and she, you know, it's a big role for her. Massive, and mm. she is completely more than equipped to take it on. I did the Sound of Music with Steph uh, when she played Liesel, um a few years ago, and you know, she you, you could see the extraordinary talent she has as an actor, as a singer, as a dancer, and then of course she did Muriel's Wedding and was mm -hmm. a triumph and I just feel like, you know, it's wonderful to see her star ascend. That's one of the best things about the industry that I'm in is you get to see people 
evolve and you know reach their fulfill their potential and uh, it's a great thrill and she's she's a dynamo jack chambers is extraordinary lucy maunder is playing mrs banks who i played last time tom wren is playing mr banks um hannah waterman is the housekeeper mrs brill so like i mean it's an absolute great, cast. great great classy cast and um I, i'm just very very i'm honored to be you know, I'm just happy to be working after COVID. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just so happy are to be. putting in the hours. Yeah, you I'm really putting are in the hours for now. <laughs> um, lovely to see you. Enjoy the time. We'll speak to you very soon. Lots of love. Thanks, Marina. Marina. Lovely to see you guys. Mwah. Head see to MaryPoppinsMusical.com.au forward slash tickets for details, but that's going to be unmissable.